I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my new series on SAT. Here we will take a few application questions which will involve more than one concept. Now this is based on the new SAT format. So many students who will be now taking this important test for admission to some excellent universities, they can really benefit going through these examples. This question is involving circles and trigonometry. Let us see how to solve such a question. A circle x square plus y square equals to 25 passes through the points a minus 4 minus 3, b is 3, 4 and c 4 minus 3. Find the angle ABC. Four choices are given to you. So uh, let's sketch and try to understand the scenario. So we are given a circle. Okay. So you could always make a rough sketch, understand the situation. Most of the time, the sketch will be given to you. Okay. So let's try to understand how to provide the solution for such a question. So this is the circle x square plus y square equals to 25 means the radius is 5 units and these points 3, 4 with positive or negative sign will definitely be on the periphery or circumference of this circle. So let's say 3 and 4 is a point right there and then we have uh, minus 4 and 3 so minus 4 and 3 let's say somewhere there okay and 4 minus 3 so this is uh, uh, minus 4 and minus 3 then we have 4 and minus 3 so it's horizontally placed right there so let's say these are the three points given to us and uh, minus 4 minus 3 is point A 3 and 4 is point B and C is in quadrant 4 4 minus 3 the angle which we need to find is is the angle ABC that means this angle B right so from A let me draw a straight line here so this is not to the scale but anyway so assume this to be B right and then from here let me draw another line okay let's use a different ink and from here let's say this is the point and we need to find what is this angle right there that is what we need to find angle ABC so how are you going to do it you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so the idea here is to use a part of trigonometry so if I draw a horizontal line here I can find this angle let me call this angle as theta uh, how can I find it this theta is actually the slope right we know point a is minus 4 minus 3 b is 3 4 let me write down and c is 4 minus 3 so so angle theta is given to us that means tan theta is equal to slope right is equal to slope which is in this case y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So the coordinates of a and b, 4 minus 3, 4 minus minus 3 over 3 minus minus 4. Well, that gives us 7 over 7, which is 1. So the slope is positive 1. So that means theta is equals to tan inverse of 1 which you know is 45 degrees so we know theta is 45 degrees so we got one angle now let us find the slope of the line BC so let me use another ink so we'll say uh, let's draw this horizontal here we want to find slope of BC so so let's consider the line uh, okay so let, this is like going downwards right so we'll get uh, probably this angle okay let's find this angle so that is the slope okay 
so we say let this angle be phi so we say tan phi is equal to again the slope which is minus 3 we can say 4 minus minus 3 divided by 3 minus 4 that gives you 7 over minus 1 so minus 7 so what is phi equals to so phi equals to tan inverse of minus 7 let's use the calculator so we get shift tan inverse of minus 7 it gives you minus 81.86 so we get the angle which is minus 81.86 okay so it, minus 81.86 means it is in quadrant 4 right so so as I marked here so that is the angle 81.86 in quadrant 4 now how do we uh, get the angle required so the important thing here to find the angle is draw a horizontal line at point B so if you now compare this is theta so this is also theta these two angles are equal and we just found that to be 45 degrees correct now if you compare with this line and the horizontal line we got this angle here as how much this angle is 81.86 no need to write minus since it is in quadrant 4 and going clockwise we write it minus but it is 81.86 correct so what do you notice here let me rewrite uh, redraw this portion so in this portion we have a line going like this where one of the angles is 45 and then we have another line which is kind of going like this and this particular angle is 81.86 what do we need to find we need to find this angle so out of 180 that angle should be how much so we get the angle a b c equals to 180 degrees minus 81.86 minus 45 degrees is it okay so we get our answer so which is 180 minus 81.86 minus 45 which is equal to in decimals 53.14 53.14 it matches with the solution b for us correct 53 degrees so that is how you could actually find the angle uh, between the two lines right now some of you could use the trigonometric relation which relates angle between the two lines i'll provide you with a link on that one also but if you don't remember so many formulas this is a simpler one to remember. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And I'll request you to go through other questions also in this playlist. If you are preparing for admission test to some good universities. Thanks for watching. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Feel free to share them with your friends. Thank you. And all the best.